I don't know about you guys, but I get that extra pep in my step when I wake up in the morning and go fishing and it's not 90,000 degrees. Like you get out there and you start unloading and you get on the water and you haven't even sweat yet. I love wintertime fishing, the fish in different places and the different kinds of fish. It's honestly my favorite time of the year. So when I woke up and saw that 50 degrees, I knew I had to get on the water. What's going on you guys? Good morning. So, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is RJ. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Today we're doing something a little different. We are back where it all started for me, where I fell in love with intro fishing. It's been probably about a year since I've been here, and last time we were here, I would put a hurting on the sheep's head. They were here in numbers, it was crazy. We would limit out every single time we would go, so hopefully they're back. So the goal today, see if the sheep's head are here, and then catch reds, catch snook, catch trout. But other than that, I will see you guys on the water. All right, y'all. Oh, wow. A good nasty mangrove smell in the morning, you guys. Whew. Nothing beats it. I'm so excited to be back here, to be honest. Uh, let's stop playing crap and get moving. Oh, wow. I'll give you the game plan. Obviously, it's real shallow over here. So, what happens is that water level comes down and then all the fish that sit on these flats are pushed over to this dock line where it's real, real deep. And all the fish that were flushed off the flat are usually there and usually hungry. So if you can catch this at the right time, on a low tide, it's full of fish. Absolutely full of fish. I guess all right guys, so this is the first dock we're gonna go ahead and stop at. And we're gonna sink some shrimp underneath here. So I'm gonna get a good distance away, good enough distance away, and we're gonna throw some shrimp underneath there and see what happens. And when I fish for sheeps, I use a size one circle hook, which is super duper small. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. And then I'm gonna free line it first. And if we need some weight, then I'll go ahead and put some weight on it. The closer you can get to the pilings, the better with sheep's head fishing because that's where they're gonna be. They're gonna be right on top of that piling. So I went ahead and pulled it up. If, if you're not getting bit pretty much immediately when you're fishing for sheep's head in this like deep shallow structure, then they ain't there. So I would just keep, keep moving. Right. Shrimp on there, weight on there. There it is, right up on that piling. Bump, bump. There it is on there, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. Come on, buddy. There he is. Sheep number one, you guys. God, it's been so long since I've caught one of these guys. Heck yeah. All right, you guys. Little sheep's head first there. Honestly, could be close to a keeper, but I'm just gonna keep rolling it. If I catch one that's for sure a keeper, I'll put together like a little stringer. You got a good tail. Nice tail on there. Get it right up. There we go, got another one right there. Pulled him right out. There we go. Nice. Oh, look at that jellyfish right there. That's crazy, look at that. That's sick. Okay, I got you, big guy, come on. Another little sheep's head there, you guys. Hey, they're, I mean, they're in here and they're getting bigger. Next stock right here, you guys. Let's see if we can see any. Okay, there's a ton of big sheep's head right there. I don't think I spooked them, but dang, there's a lot of them. They weren't like down though, they were they were like up. I pulled it, I pulled it, dang it. Pulled it. It's a, I think it's a smaller one, I don't know. There he's on there. There he's on there. God, this other one's chasing him all the way up to the boat too. That's crazy. No, he's a, I mean, he's, that's a keeper. I mean, guaranteed. Surprised. All right, buddy. All right, all right, all right. You're gonna free my freaking leader. Yeah, it's not a bad sheep's right there, you guys. Definitely a keeper. Look how big, just how wide that fish is, man. That's crazy. But the other guy, 
Oh, dude, if I get pooped on one more freaking time by a sheep's head. All right, let's get back in that dock, you guys. I guarantee there's more big ones. I saw some absolute monsters in there. I'm happy with that. I gotta rinse my reel off when I get back in. I gotta rinse me off, you guys. Look, I'm covered in sheep's head doo-doo. They're like, oh, you could take me home for dinner, but I'll crap on you. That's a good one. Come on, buddy. Another good fish right there, dude. Easily 12. Easily 12 inches. Definitely more. Nice, barely hooked. Look at that. Boom. All right, guys. So right on the edge of this, I think you guys can see them. Okay. Do you guys see all these sheep's heads? Like right here. Look at them. Oh, look at that big one. See them right there? Okay. I'm going to take the weight off of this shrimp so it doesn't sink straight to the bottom. And I'm just gonna drop it in there. Uh oh, okay, he's the ones looking at it. Oh, sh there's a big redfish. Oh, sh there's a big redfish, holy hell. There's a big freaking red right there. Okay, so let's see if we can catch that red. I think I spooked the crap out of everything in there, but let's throw that back there and just let that sit for a minute. Oh, there we go, something on it. Dude, I don't even know how many sheep that I've caught today. Probably 20 sheep. Later. Oh, I'm trying to drink some water. Oh, he's got me wrapped around on something. Come on, buddy. Oh. Yeah, that's not a sheep. That's not a sheep. I got locked down drag. No, come back out, come back out. You're not coming out. There you go, bud. Let's go, you guys. There he is. I knew there was a big red in here. I knew there was a big red in here. Oh. I knew he was in there, man. I saw him. I saw him come out for the shrimp earlier in the battle tail. Come up, take a picture with me, and you can go back in the water. He is. There you go, you guys. One last look at him. Oh, uh, I don't even know. I'd say 27? Am I guessing red? So I got back to the house and I was doing this editing and I was like, dang, I didn't remember to film a freaking outro. So here I am filming an outro. I just want to say thank you everybody for watching and all the support, man. The subs have been coming in like crazy and the views and everything. It has been, it has been awesome. I know I talked about doing a giveaway, but I will do one for sure at 300 subscribers here. So it's going to be like a gift package, some lures, some different stuff that I use, some leader. It's gonna be awesome. I'll have the details from that on my Instagram once I hit 300. Other than that, again, thank you guys for watching. You are the absolute best. I look forward to making these videos every week. Don't forget, get out there, don't get skunked, and I'll see y'all next week.